What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Sorry if I sound a bit stuffy, I'm probably sick or something. But anyways, we've got some more Tekken news for you guys. Lee and Miguel were announced for the game a couple months ago, and now they're finally inserted into the roster to be playable by people. Woohoo! Now we just gotta wait for Kuma and Panda. But not only did we get more confirmation of Lee and Miguel, obviously, but um, we also got confirmation that they all have um, costume slots for all the characters. Like Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Like you won't just press a button and get a costume. There's a whole menu of costumes to choose from. Which means that the custom outfits will not be replacing the default outfits. I am so thankful for that. Because that was one of my main gripes about um, Tekken 6 and Tekken 5. Because I really liked customizing outfits. But not only did they replace the default costumes. But that also meant you could only do like only two or three custom costumes for the characters. But... With Tech Attack 2, you could keep your default costumes, and then there were also like six other slots to fill with custom outfits, which is really cool. You could just make a bajillion outfits, so. I'm very glad they have custom slots for Tekken 7 as well, and I hope this becomes a continuing trend throughout the series. And the customization is still looking a lot deeper with face paint and skin tone changing. This is going to be like the deepest customization for Tekken yet, and I'm really excited. So yeah, that was Tekken News. Lee and Miguel finally added to the roster, and the characters have costume slats instead of just straight up press a button and get an outfit. See you guys next time when we get more news.